There are probably a couple of different ways to think about this question. And so if you've got an alternative that really worked well, feel free to put in the comments. I, I am curious if other people have found something better than what I did. Um, the key for me, though, is I, I know right away what they mean when they're talking about factors, right? So this is a quadratic equation, and we have a factor that's kind of code for x-intercepts, right? The parts uh, where the graph is going to cross that, that x-axis, where y is going to be zero. And so I, I just, from experience, I associate those words very strongly, right? If I want to find the x-intercepts of a parabola, I factor, right? As a verb, I factor. I turn it into these kind of uh, terms that have the parentheses, right? So it, it looks something, right, like this, and we have x and x and, you know, whatever. But in this case, it's going to be messy for a couple of reasons. Uh, first, we have this 3 in front of this x squared. Unusual uh, that we have that. Normally, we just have nothing there, or a 1 is there. So that makes it easy to factor. Normally, Normally, here it's going to cause a problem. Now, what I could do is try to pull it out, but uh, it's going to kind of conflict with the 20. Um, let's not confuse this too much. It's going to conflict with the 20 because I can divide 63 by 3 and kind of GCF it out of there, but I can't divide 20 by 3 and, and not create a mess. So it doesn't really work that way either. Um, but because I associate factor with x-intercepts, I don't need to do any sort of algebra here. I can just look at this parabola and see where it crosses the x-axis and see if that relates to the factors that they gave me. Now, the only thing I would change is remember that when we have a factor, it's kind of like we're setting it equal to zero. So if the factor is x minus 9, the value of x, the x-intercept, would be positive 9, right? So it's kind of like that's the number that I'm looking for. And with 3x minus 7, it's a little weirder, but I can still solve it, right? So add 7 to both sides, 3x is equal to 7, and then divide by 3, and we get that x is 7 thirds. So what is 7 thirds? If you're unsure, you can put that in your calculator, kind of your normal calculator. Uh, 7 divided by 3 is 2.3 or 2.3 repeating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph this thing as is and see if it crosses the x-axis at these points, 9 and 2.33. So I graphed it already for us. Uh, some of it is off the chart, but that's okay. I only really care about these, these points where it crosses, right? So uh, here's um, one of them is negative 9. So that doesn't look good, right? It's, we need a positive 9. So that, that feels like a trap to me, is that they wanted me to get confused with the positives and negatives. But negative 9 is not the same as positive 9. So it's the positive 9 that I'm looking for. And um, I, don't, I don't need to scroll because I know it's not there. But if I look, yeah, there's no positive 9. Um, the reason I don't need to scroll is I know there's only going to be two factors maximum because it is, a, it is a parabola. So it only has two. So what's this other one? Well, 2.33, right? So that checks out. So there we go. That's the one I was looking for um, that was a little bit more annoying, but it does check out. So that's Roman numeral two. And so choice B would be the answer. Um, to me, this is the best scenario because I, I don't really need to do any algebra. As it is, even this algebra down here that I did for you, I kind of would have just known this in my head because the numbers are so simple. Um, and so I only really did it just to show it to you. Um, but yeah, there are other ways you can probably do some, uh, you know, more complicated factoring like slide and divide, which I'm not going to get into. Um, but there are probably other ways to do it. I just think that if possible, always defer to using the calculator, seeing a graph and understanding how things work in a very visual way. And so the, the big takeaway for you, if you were confused, is that basically when we talk about factors, we're talking about x-intercepts, especially when we have these kind of polynomial, um, graphs. And the only change I made, I guess I didn't point out is when I graphed it, if I had just put 3x squared plus 20x minus 63, the calculator wouldn't know what to do with that. So I had to turn it into an actual graphable uh, function. So I put that y equals in front. So now it looks like a parabola and the calculator knows what to do. And just to kind of show you that it's a parabola, just to smush it, there it is. So it doesn't matter how far down it goes. What matters is where it hits the, the x-axis. And that was easy to find and to click and solve.